Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Let's do that real quick. And you need mead. Mead! You need to uh, shoot the eye and make like the cat reflex. Latch onto that chest, dude. Make up your mind, sir! Yes or no? We're gonna have to raise the water back up to the third level anyway, and we need to drain it, and ugh. Like I said, this is the part of the temple that really gets obnoxious, so. But once you've made it this far, oh my gosh, guys, you're awesome, you're super, you survived and thrived, you made it through the temple. Do you like chocolate pudding? Mm, yeah, yes, 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 I like chocolate pudding. Do you like cheese and broccoli? Mm, mm, no, no, mm, mm, no, I don't like cheese and broccoli. Do you like cheese and cake? Mm, mm, yes, mm, yes, I like cheese and cake. Mm. Hello, guys, long time no let's play. I don't know why I just paused. Apparently, I think I need to. This is your host, Silent Senior 9, and we're continuing our let's play of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time through the Water Temple. Hoorah! I know I didn't use my usual welcome back thing, but I figured I'd give that a rest. So, last we left off, we f were finishing up the Water Temple, and we were about to fight the boss, I believe, or come close to it anyway. Um, uh, funny story about this. I originally had this done. Honestly, I did. But, when come time around to get things done, when I actually had a moment of free time, uh, I looked at the video for part... This is part 40, I believe. This is going to be the new part 40. It... The sound of... I don't know what heck happened to it, but something happened to the sound of the quality. Literally, it was all crackly and crap, and it just, like, it stopped working. It, like, I don't know what to think of it. Uh, I guess that's just poor testing quality on my end, so my bad. And so here we go, we're in the boss room, and yeah, I forgot to tell you that you're not done when you go through the- okay. Silenus, look out! That is in normal water over there! Right, well, that's nice, but before I do that, I'm actually going to do something I thought I wouldn't do. I, and taking a long time to do it, am going to test out the big Goron sword! Woohoo! Go, Link, go! Or Silent S, I should say, in this case. So we're gonna walk over... What the? Uh-oh. It's the Jaws. Get ready, guys. Donna. 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 Na, na, na. Donna. 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 Holy wow. Giant aquatic amoeba morpha. We are fighting bacteria. Hooray, we're gonna clean up the world. It's all nasty and stuff. Okay, so while he spins around like a maniac, I'm gonna run over here with a sword. Look at me! I'm running with the shop object! It's not good to do that, guys. Seriously, don't do that. Yeah! Yeah, the reason I'm doing the giant sword is original when I did this. Going back to it, I know I'll, I'll stop talking about it because you guys get annoyed by it. Uh, this fight actually took a lot longer without the me using the giant sword. It, I just used the master sword in it. And this guy can be really annoying to do, honestly, because you can really only get, like, one hit at a time if you get him over here, of course. There we go. Because you see, he hops right into the water, and you can't use your sword underwater. So, basically, you're just kind of like up Crap Creek without a paddle. Alright. The main goal I suggest for you is, if you're going to be like me... and eh, that's kind of a scary thought, I guess. You want to stay on the platforms instead of trying to be cheap and new, use the outside where you can hide in the corner and the arms won't actually get you. Um, is to keep kind of moving when you got these annoying. Oh, great, now there's two. This is what happens when you start progressing in the fight. You start getting more arms developing in the water. The main objective is to try not to get caught. That's not obvious. But, um,. Keep moving. Don't stay in one spot too long. Cause it'll tease me. 
I swear to goodness, you're gonna get it. I'll cut you, I swear. <laughs> Blast you, Peter Pan. All right, here we go. No, that totally went through him. That should have like gutted him or something. Yes. All right. Splurge. He exploded. <laughs> I popped that pimple, baby. Booyah! Victory! This is kind of cool. It's like a vacuum and sucked up. Ew! It's peeing. You're a peeing. Badoo. Okay, yeah, that was bad. Sorry. Kerschbleesh! Yay! And with that, guys, this concludes the water tipple! Ho 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 ho! Yay! Okay. Okay, it's over here. Yeah, don't forget to grab the heart piece. Heart piece. Heart container. It's usually on one side or the I guess it's like opposite of the boss door that you came in. I don't know. Whatever. But, yeah, make sure you grab it. Okay, so with that out of the way, yay! Oh, wow. Kick arse, dude. I only took like six minutes to kick his butt. Less than that, even. Sweetness! Chamber of Sages. Who could the sage be, I wonder? No, my ex-girlfriend! Darn it. What did you want? You want some money? Shiss. Ah, uh, silent ass. I would have, like, expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zara's domain and its people, like, will eventually return to their original state. Really? You think that? Like, as a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Gee, many Christmas, lady. Well, like, that's what I want to say. But I don't think I can offer that now. Oh, whew, my gosh. I have to guard the water temple as the Sage of Water. And you, you're searching for the Princess Zelda. Ha! You can't hide anything from me. Yeah, I can. Princess Zelda... She's alive. I can sense it. So, don't be discouraged. For the record, no, you can't really hide anything from any females, guys. Just a tip for you. I can, like, tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Like, totally take it respectfully. Oh, yay! I get a friendship medal. Filled with her love. Woohoo! Ooh, it's all blue and shiny. And it looks like a raindrop splattered in the middle. Kush. You receive the water medallion. Rudo awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Hoorah for that, eh? If, like, you see Sheik, like, totally please give him my thanks, okay? Okay, goodbye now. No! I want to stay in the safety chamber of sages. It's nice there. It's all pretty and shiny. You get meadows and cookies. Oh, yay! Who's up for swimming? As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Silentus, who did it? This is a rare sign. We actually get to see him again. Coolness. Wait, stop! Don't disappear yet! I must ask for your ninja skills. Did Ruto want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Haru for her sake too, don't we? Jeez, there ain't no peace when she's ruling it. Oh! Sorry, I couldn't resist. Look at that Silentus. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is at it was here. Hmm. Welcome to Lake Hylia. The tourist spot for a perfect beach tan. Without the beach, of course. Wait. Dude, don't turn your back on him. You know what he's gonna do. Aw, oh, man. No! You can't... Aw, oh, crap, he did. Where'd he go? You do cannonball? Oh, snap. Dang, what a tree climber. Whoosh! And I give that a 7.7 .7 for grace. Awesome. 
All right, so once you finish the lovely water temple, if I can do it quickly enough, over here, on this little platform thingy that looks rather... I don't know how I'd end up with only three arrows. That's kind of weird. Fire an arrow at the sun as it's rising. It has to be just rising up. And you'll get... It's raining sunshine! It's raining... Oh, wait, no. What you'll get is you'll get some fire arrows. Yay! Fire arrows! That's good! Let's go! Um, I believe you can play the Scarecrow song, but every time I've tried to do it when I was doing my little practice run through it, he wouldn't cooperate and come out, so, like, I'm not gonna worry about it. You got fire arrows! Your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it will catch fire! I got the power! Snap! Okay, then right after that, basically, when you get the fire arrows, uh, don't run away from Lake Hyle yet. RUN! Um, turn at nighttime actually is your next best bet. Is that tree got a gash in it? Seriously. It looks like there's three claw marks through it. Dude, there are three claw marks in that. That's freaking weird. I'm a little scared. Is there a werewolf that's gonna come out tonight? Yeah. Let's get up in the tree, man! You have to do this when you get the- oh shoot. Dang it! You actually have to get up there, though. Crumble. You want a long shot up on the tree. Um, when you get the long shot, there's a golden skull total here at night. Don't forget it, guys, okay? Huzzah! Sorry, I'm like full of Mountain Dew shockage, kind of, so if I seem a little, like, nutty and crazy today, that's probably why. Alrighty, so, uh, let's see here. We got a little bit of time, I guess. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a heart piece out in Hyrule Field. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start off. Dun, 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 dun! The first of many sh uh, well, not many. There's a limit. Shoutouts that I said I would do. Um, originally this was gonna be in part 41, when I was gonna... Never mind, I'm gonna spoil it yet. Hee hee hee. Um, I'm just gonna do it now. So, while I head over to Heartpiece, let me introduce to you a shout- Well, they're not here, and I don't have them on Skype or anything, so... Anyway, enough talking, jeez. I would love to extend my shout-out voice to... The NERDHEAD NOOBS! Woo! Yay! These guys are awesome, actually. If you have not seen their sh videos or subscribed to them, I highly advise you check them out, and if they interest you, definitely subscribe. I'm going to say subscribe to them, period, but that's just me. Um, they... Basically what they are is their collaboration channel. Um, not quite like, you know, the Runaway Guys, Crystal Star Studio, or the... Whatever the heck it is it. Mario and the Six Lost Levels. I can't remember the name of the channel exactly, but they're actually like four people that have started off their first YouTube channel together. And where the heck is a pun at? Anyway, um, I'll look for my horse. I lost my horse, dude. Dude, what is the horse? These guys um, have done a really terrific job, I find, in collaborating together and working together as a team to make a really entertaining kind of channel. And I thoroughly enjoy, honestly, watching them. Um, I'll just kind of give a little brief history. Uh, so far, what I've noticed for projects... Jeez, where'd you come from? It's kind of freaky. For projects, they've done a Let's Play of Super Mario 64, which was completed. Um, I don't know when it was completed, but it was pretty good. I, I liked it. Um, they got a Let's Play of Mario Kart 64. It's not done yet. I don't know what they're going to do with that. I don't know if they're going to wait till they fix the sound on it. Or if they're just giving it a break on it. But there is a rough sound to it. It's pretty decent nonetheless. Um, they they kind of show off each of the courses. So that's kind of fun. Um, they're doing a Let's Play... Uh, well, they did. I don't know if they're completely done with it. Because they kind of said they were debating whether or not... That was gonna, there was going to be a, another video or not. A Let's Play of WarioWare Smooth Moves. That's another project they did. It's most likely complete. That's what I'm going to say for its status. 
And they also do gameplay reviews, which is kind of cool, too. Um, let me see, what else did I want to say? Oh, they have a quote that... I have a quote from them that they said in one of their Let's Plays. I have it favorited in my list somewhere, but... Basically, the thing that they said I thought was really catchy, at least for me it was... I know, I'm for... I'm all for that corny stuff. Jeez. Sue me, why don't you? No, please don't. I'm not really rich. Um, it says, For us nerds, difficult exists not, and the impossible just takes a little longer. That has got to be some epic stuff right there, folks. I'm not going to lie. That's like, Dude. Wicked. Alright, so. Dude! Seriously? You dodged my arrow. Well, I don't really need it. What am I doing? I'm wasting time. A derp to derp. Um, yeah, so that's basically my first shout out. A little bit more information on them. They have a two couple of channels they're working on. One uh one's called the Nerd Herd Noobs Alt. And there's a heart piece. Yay. And the other and they got like a couple videos up on that. I'm guessing that from my understanding from reading the bio so far. That's basically going to be like Minecraft stuff or any handheld game stuff. And then they also got a Nerd Herd Noobs vlog, but as of now, as far as I know, they don't have anything up yet. I'm sure they'll have stuff up eventually, but for now, it's just pretty much there in case they decide they want to do a video log, so. Yeah! The Nerd Herd Noobs! Let me see, did I say the right Nerd Herd? Yeah, okay. Coolness. So that's my first shout out. Stay tuned, guys, for more shoutouts. Ja. Um. Oh crap! Ran over a little bit of my time. All right. Well, this has been a Let's Play of Silent Senior Nine. And as I always remind you, please don't let your tails fly up. And as a bonus, here's my attempt at the Nerd Herd Noob's um, iconic conclusion to their videos. Subscribe. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty bad, but see you later, guys.